All right, it's six o'clock. It's website time. Time to talk about the website. As always, whenever those notifications go out, it takes a little bit of time for people to catch in. I just got an alert that Higher Things went live. So let's see. We're going to be here for about eh, 20 minutes. I've, we've got the staff. They're going to talk to us about what's going on. Hi, Sarah Rose. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wait for a few more people. I see 12 people already. Good, good. Hi, Carol. Good evening. Bobby Joe. Oh, the Bible study crews here. I love those Bible study folks. So very faithful. What will we do when we're done with Matthew? I don't know. I just don't know. But we wanted to give an opportunity to um, to talk about the website with the people who actually make the make it work, make the magic work, and we are all sort of wearing our old higher thing shirts. This is my one of my very old higher thing shirts. You'll see the unworkable logo here. Um, hi, Gene. Good to see you. Um, but uh, uh, you'll get a chance to talk to the staff, ask the staff questions. I will ask the staff questions, the most common questions that I've heard. Um, so uh, buckle up. We're going to take a look at the, the website and we're going to see what we can do to get as many people on this call as possible um, to have fun. Okay. So uh, the first person we're going to talk to is Patrick Sturdivant, my adopted son, who is the, um, the marketing and development executive for Higher Things. He's going to highlight the website a little bit. And he's also going to... Um, uh, I'm going to ask him some questions. So uh, y'all be, make sure you welcome Patrick. There's Patrick splitting the screen with me, brother. I am I'm splitting the screen. How's it going? Uh, uh, looks like your back's against the wall there, buddy. As I'm about to ask yeah, you questions. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's real tight. It's real All right. Tight Marketing right. and development. So the most common asked question that I've had. Yeah, I know, Emma. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing a higher things, a vintage higher things shirt. The most common asked question about the new website. And I'm going to take my picture off the screen and show the new website is I miss the Luther seal. I miss sure. the Luther seal. And so would you give a little bit of word about that and, and go from there and I'm going to show them the brand new website. There it is. Oops. Go ahead. Uh, you know, um, Patrick, I, I'm wondering whether or not they're hearing us. Um, there's a couple of people who said they couldn't hear you. That concerns me. Um, I can hear you, but, uh, the question is, can, are we picking you up on Skype? So what, what Patrick said, um, and Patrick, correct me while I'm trying to figure out, um, I can hear you. So we're good there. So can you hear him now? Patrick's audio died when you brought up the website. So hopefully you can hear me now. All right. All right. So again, the question, tell me again about the logo, the, the seal. For sure. All right. All right. Didn't everyone hear me? Just making sure. Before I go. Can we hear Pat now? Yes, we can. All right. So go ahead. We'll Perfect. not bring up the website because bring up the website's <laughs> evil. Bring the website up. It goes poorly. We don't want that. So you're the man. Go ahead. 
for sure. So uh, Higher Things has had the same logo uh, for 20 years. Uh, since the original inception of Higher Things, it has always been that logo right there on Pastor's shirt. And that is the actual Higher Things logo. Um, Dare to be Lutheran uh, was not in the full logo. Uh, the Luther seal um, was not in the full logo. Um, anything you saw added on, uh, for example, um, you'll see in a bit, Erica's shirt has an HT. Um, that was never the logo. The only logo was the full Higher Things text. Um, we've used the Luther seal uh, in the past. Um, it was on our website for a very long time. Um, simply because our website was never updated from anything else. Um, we wanted uh, to update our look um, and also update all of our materials for something uh, that can be recognizable um, and that people will see and automatically think higher things. You'll see the Luther seal pop up. The Luther seal is not gone. You will see it again. Um, have no fear. Um but the for now, it, 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 it is in the future. It is not part of our logo. All right. Well, um, the 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 so we will see Dare to Be Lutheran wrapped around the logo. We'll see mm -hmm. the seal with the Luther. So this gives a lot more oh, freedom, yeah. correct? Um, oh, one hundred percent. Dare to Be Lutheran. Um, if you walk through the website, um, is all over. Uh, it's wrapped around um, our logo that you see in the bottom corner of my screen. Um, the back in the background, you'll see it all over the website. Um, it is the foundation of our t one of our text logos, um, and we have a beautiful piece on our website about the specific logo uh, and about how it was created, specifically referencing Dare to Be Lutheran and our roots. Okay. Hey Patrick, I'm gonna ask you to hold for just a second. I wanna I wanna talk to Sandra. Even though they've given me a list of things to do, um, I'm gonna break with that rule from the very beginning, yeah. and we'll we'll hear Erica scream. All right, we're gonna we hear Erica. Nothing less. We'll mix it up. We'll uh, all right, so up. we're gonna miss it up. So say goodbye to Patrick for a second. I want to talk about um, to to Sandra a little bit about the uh, Sandra Madden is the uh, if content, content. exact. All right, you t you change titles every two years. It looks like yeah. content. Very good. Sa Sandra's been with our things for what nineteen years. It's about twenty now. Coming so on I, twenty. I want I want I want you to talk about yeah. the difficulty that you had with the old logo. Oh man. And and I made a joke in Bible class today that that um, <laughs> that the logo was bold impact font saying higher things with a little R over it. And you're like, well, it's not that simple. And I was like, yeah, right. Re I'm sorry. Bold impact font. And you're like, no. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. It's whatever Sondra decided the logo was for that day. Um, tell us a little bit about how we plan on using this logo and what do you plan on doing with this logo and how it, um, how it, how it's just going to help you make your life a lot easier. Sure. Well, unofficially in higher things, um, I did a lot of the graphic design kind of stuff, the, the conference books, the t-shirts, a lot of the merchandise until recently. Um, that, that kind of just fell on me and I'm not an expert. I just put things together, uh, and kind of did whatever made sense at the time and looked pretty good. And a lot of it stuck and, I wasn't the only one doing that. And so that's how we kind of ended up with a bunch of different images going on. The reason we, are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. they're hearing the you. The reason there are so what? many is because the higher things words like Pastor Borkhart has on his shirt, or even the ones with the four boxes of images and the colors, really hard to put on things, really hard to use in any sort of consistent way, just because of the shape. Um, even try to put that on something like Facebook, which requires a circle or something else like that, that has developed since the images came about and it just did not work. It didn't fit, things are cropped, it was too small. We'd have to come up with something else, improvise something. Um, and now we can take this logo, this higher things kind of ink blot wax seal kind of thing and put it on anything we can put it on 
as you see on our our backgrounds we've got it on our videos uh thumbnails we've got it on letterhead we've got it on merchandise coming soon and it's not changing it's the same same thing everywhere and so that makes it so much easier to use and it goes on any sort of image too whether it's a picture um a photograph or uh a hand-drawn item uh, like our conference logos it can it goes with everything and so that has made my job now as the new content executive where i have to put it on a lot of things made it so much easier so so much easier I never understood the stuff that you would talk about because I'm just a pastor and I'd be like, can we slap our logo on that? You're like, it doesn't work that way. And I'm like, well, can we, can you just like squanch it? And you're like, it does, it doesn't work that way. If you want it to look bad. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm easy going. Uh, Sandra, hold on for a second because um, yeah, yeah. I noticed on, on Erica's plan for today, we never talked to Erica, which I find to be fascinating. Yes. She is in the call, but not on the call. So I think I need to, if you would just hold on for a second, I'm going to grab her with a question. Erica Jacoby, the executive director of Higher Things, the Big Cheese. Um, the um, uh, oh, I, I say just to pass her all the time, Bobby Joe. I, I do that for a reason. Um, so, Erica, um, the mission of Higher Things is all about passing the faith to the next generation. That's all. That's what we're doing, right? We're passing the faith to the next generation. I want you to sort of walk us through just your sort of um, the new website has a new goal. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A new yep. a new emphasis. Yep. Would you would you go ahead and tell us that? And I'm gonna get myself off the screen so they can just see you and hire things. How's that? Bye. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hopefully everybody can hear me. I did keep myself off the agenda because I know how much you like to talk. However. You put my back up against the wall here. Um, so, yeah, you asked me to talk about the mission first, which you, you got most of it. it uh, just in essence, to boil it down, it's to pass on the faith to the next generation. So um, our new our mission statement, which is slightly tweaked, is to support the church in passing on the faith by teaching the next generation the gospel of Jesus Christ, that they are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, as revealed in Scripture alone. And Lutheran folks, you're going to notice the soul is there. Um, so that's super duper important to us. And we realized, um, in terms of the new website, we realized that, uh, a few things that we needed to do a really, really good job of, um, reaching youth. And where do we find all these kids these days? But on online, right? And with their cell phones. Um, and that's the, really the way to get connected with them. And so, um, we took the opportunity when we were looking at our mission, uh, when we were looking at all of the offerings that we have and all of the content, we really wanted to kind of double down. And um, we do conferences, great. We've got we've got all kinds of teaching going on there. But we all but we wanted to kind of expand to um, to kids out on the internet, right? To kids um, using social media. And so um, we really needed to position ourselves to be able to do that. And that's what the fancy new website is about. Um, with all the content, that's what the, the new app is about, which we're excited to talk about as well. The app is live and ready to go. I hope folks have downloaded it. Um, so yeah, that was, the, that was the thinking behind that. Did I answer your question? I tried to keep myself off of the agenda, but you were, I, you were having none of it. I was busted, pouring a drink. I, I, I didn't know whether if I hit my mute, whether or not all of a sudden you would be gone. I didn't want that. So, um, so I I, about I, it. I'm detecting a shift. Okay. Um, and this is uh, well timed with COVID. Um, is that there's a we're moving from from higher things being known about by their physical conferences to higher things being known by their um, their content. Is that is, yeah? That's the new word. Their Luther, the Lutheran word. content. Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, so so that's a that's an active shift, right? And maybe you can talk about, we were already doing quite a bit. We had a lot of videos, your videos out on YouTube. We have our live Bible studies. And you can talk about some of the reactions we were getting from folks to ah. some of our images. That might be right. kind of fun for right. you to bring up. So, um, so, so wait, 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 wait. So, sorry. so like if I had a dollar for every time that I got a text or a call or an email that was like, I love your videos, except for the pentagram 
behind higher things. They thought that the <laughs> Luther seal was a pentagram. We get called, we get called it's like, frequently. Like Parker, is it, who are the people that put out the cereal back in the day? Parker and Gamble um, had this thing where they thought they had a symbol. Proctor and Gamble, uh, right. I have no idea. I don't know. Don't mind me. Um, yeah. And, uh, but, but, but I, I know somebody wants to sort of weigh in on this. So Erica, don't go away. Your content exec is, 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 is itching to say something. Um, she wants to make sure that we're He's clear on the, on the timeline. So hold on. All right. You go bye-bye. You go present. Hey, Sandra. I'm sorry. I'm just talking away here while I'm muted. Like I'm not even, all right, so like everyone's participating in the conversation. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. <laughs> So, so you wanted to, you wanted to sort of, you're used to the, you got, you got the stuff that was like. Oh, as the new content executive, I get to see all the comments on the things and answer the questions of, well, your stuff looks really good and it sounds Christian, but why do y'all have a pentagram as your logo? That's really weird. And usually I just kind of reply, thanks for watching. Um, or maybe refer them to a Wikipedia article on Luther Seal, but. That's kind of the impression that we had using the loser sale that we love, that we know what it means, but somebody out there thinks it means something completely opposite of what we're intending to communicate. Um, this was also going to go on before the virus hit, correct? Which was, it was God. Oh. I think it was really God no, because God shifts us from thinking about, um, okay, so what's the next conference? And, and then right. changes us to how do we serve kids 365 days a year? And then this happens, which allows us to, um, which allows us to pivot to a virtual conference, right? Because that was right. that, actually, uh, Erica should probably talk about that because, you know, we've been planning this for a long time. Um, and Erica really got it going last year when she came on as executive director. And this is, our, our relaunch and website have been in the works for almost a, at least a year now, I should say. Um, so she can talk more about that. I like how you got out of the picture by throwing her underneath mm -hmm. the bus. It, it doesn't have to be a tall bus. Oh, though. Wow. Here she is. <laughs> Erica, a short here's bus? a... Oh. He didn't throw me out of the bus. This is a team. Oh. This is a team here. All right, now wait, wait, wait. First, And before... I did hear the short bus. I heard it. There's All a right. lot of shortness. There's a lot of short yep. shaming going on. Les I, I thought this was about our website. Pastor Lesko wants you to stand on your tippy toes so he can hear you um, as the as the short exec. Um, Kathy's looking forward to the virtual conference. Hey, I want to, um, yeah. there was two questions. One, I need you to comment on how this was in your yeah. mind and how this was working. You're a teacher. You're, you were a teacher, right? Um, an, el right. Uh, an elementary yeah. school, a high school Spanish teacher, correct? Before this job. And so Public this is something that was on your heart, right? So just sort of Absolutely. tell us that, that it was about, and then I got another question for you. I'm, I'm sort of confused what you want me to tell, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the question is there. You're going so, to so the, so the movement about resourcing parents and pastors. All right. So oh, we sure. put on these great yeah, conferences sure, sure. where we deliver yeah. the gospel, but right. we want We wanted right. to be yeah. active in, um, oh, got it. I in got delivering it. I the faith. I know what you're digging. All you. Yeah. I see what you're doing there. Yeah, so um, previously I worked for Higher Things uh, part-time as a development exec. And at the same time, my, my day job was that I was a public high school teacher. And previous to that, I had um, been a youth leader and taught, you know, taught youth Bible studies, uh, put on youth events. And um, one of the things I thought could really be useful is, in, in, which fell into our mission statement then, and it does now, and that is to resource parents and pastors and anybody who is trying to who who is teaching youth the faith um and there's really nobody better than the people that god puts in front of those youth uh than those folks right in their home right in their own parishes to teach the faith and so what we really wanted to do is just kind of tweak a little bit um what we were already doing and and really make it easy because i know as a teacher when i would go online and look for resources i just needed them to be really super duper easy to use easy to access easy to share virtually, you know, online with my youth. Um, and so that, that was kind of a little bit of the, the shift that happened at the same time when we started talking about rebranding, um, sort of 
changing the look of higher things. Uh, it gave us the chance to kind of inwardly look at what we were doing, what we were doing well, and what we wanted to do more of or do better. Um, and so that's what's going on. All right. Did so the, the second question was a great question. Yes. And it was one that we wanted to talk about today, which is why I'm super excited about it, which was um, uh, Pastor Lestico's kissing up because he's uh, worried that you're, the height comment's going to get him in trouble. Uh, everybody say hello to Thor, the mascot. He's here. There he is. Uh, he walked his three miles and he was running out of gas. So the dare to be Lutheran, what does it mean? Now, I want to tell you this. I'm going to tell you some things that folks thought it meant. Okay. All right. So what are some things, Erica, that people thought Dare to be Lutheran, which oh, we trademarked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are some yeah, things that people uh, thought that, Dare to be Lutheran? That, I, would like, I would like to mention that we did keep that, we, but we wanted to make sure that we defined that really, really well. Um, so things that people used to think um, within our own synod and outside is that it was sort of an exclusionary thing. Like, oh, like, I'm not Lutheran, like you guys are, or you're, you're, you think you're better than us somehow because you dare to be Lutheran and we don't. Have I got them? I'm trying to think what else. Other oh, I think that's heard. great. I dare to be more Lutheran yeah. than you. Uh, they yeah, thought dare that to be was, more liturgical. Uh, we're hoity, better than you because we're more hoity, liturgical. Hoity-toity things. Uh, snootier things. Snootier things, right. These are all different ways right. that, that, that folks that, that weren't really high on our brand um, were... Uh, we're sort of um, taking issue with it. And so there was an active desire with the mission statement to, to define what we meant, we mean by dare to be Lutheran. Um, yes. And it's not dare to be more Lutheran than, than, than Emma. You know what I mean? It's not, that's not what's going on. Uh, it's, 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 it, what, what does dare to be Lutheran mean? And I'm going to put you on the screen all by yourself. That's hey, not you. It's on That's the bottom. You. All right. Me? I'm gone. That's for you. You. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's at the bottom of each page of our of our website. I think you should read it and show it. We've well, defined it, right? Or do you want me to do that? Well, hold on. If I do this, I lose I lose you. Do it. I feel like I feel like I was misled. You, we thought this was going to be the Pastor Borghardt show, and this has turned into this has turned into put exacts against the wall, put them on the spot. Um, so the dare to be Lutheran, basically, in a nutshell, means dare to believe the gospel. Right? Um, our dean of theology uh, wrote a little blurb at the bottom of each page of our website, and I'd be happy to read that for you if you wish. Go ahead. Okay. It means we dare you to believe the gospel is for you, that Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, was crucified for your sins and raised for your forgiveness. And the forgiveness, life, and salvation he won for you on Good Friday and Easter are delivered right to you in his Holy Spirit-filled word and sacraments. This is the heart and soul of our preaching, teaching, and worship, because this is the full substance of the entire Christian faith. Jesus died, Jesus rose, Jesus delivers for you. Now that is daring to be Lutheran. So daring to be Lutheran means daring to believe that salvation is by grace alone, that is received by faith alone from scripture alone. Correct? You got it. You got right. it. So we're going to, and I, I, what I really like about this is we're going to be active in, in making sure that that's what's put forward. That it's not dare to be more Lutheran than you. It's not uh, snootier things. Yes, Pastor Lestico, who gave Pastor Borkart the power to guide this event? I don't know about you, but I'm he having did. a blast. He did. All right, he did. I'm going to give you a break, Erica. I'm going to ask Sandra Madden a question about the content of the website without being able to show the content of the website. All right. Sandra, my old friend. All right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the content of the website specific. What oh, has, what has changed? What is more, what is more intentional? Uh, uh, what is your goal as the content exec? That's three or four questions oh. and I'm going off the right? screen. Go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not all me. the things there. have changed. Well, not all the things, most of the things have changed except the actual content itself. 
Um, on our old website, you could probably find a lot of the content, but not all of it. You'd have to go out to YouTube or Vimeo or um, who knows where else we had things laying around. But now it's all in one place. And so we've got under the content page, we've got um, our very best video series gathered. There's still a few that haven't moved over yet from YouTube, but we got our, our favorites, most popular ones that are highlighted right there. Um, also the video series. We've got our most popular podcasts listed for you. We've got all of our um, reflections, which are also now available in ASL videos. I'm very excited about that for our deaf friends and hard of hearing. And then we've also got some columns. We have 20 years of articles from our website and our magazines uh, ready to go that are timeless for you to read again and, be, and benefit from. And then we also have new columns coming out uh, something new every day. Uh, we have, I think it's 10 new columns that are going to have different articles coming out on a daily basis. So there's going to be fresh material for you regularly in the, the articles as well as in the videos. And I'm told that uh, the Uncultured Saints are going to have a new season coming out later this summer. The Uncultured Saints are coming back? Gospel. The Uncultured Saints on are coming gospel. back? Oh, uh, you know. I love those guys. <laughs> Hey, I got a, I got a question for you. If you haven't listened to the podcast, check it out. All right, so I got a question for you. I got a question for you. When they go to the website, right. they're going to notice something different. They're going to... They're yeah, gonna... There's a lot of things different on right, the website. Right, right, right. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. I want you to sort of comment about pictures and the the like, uh, picture selection and the like, because that is a little different from the old Higher Things website it where it was like, different. it was like, if it ain't ancient artwork... It ain't on our website. So uh, so a little bit about the yeah. pictures and the like. Well, the pictures are, are a way to grab attention and a, a, a way to communicate as well. Um, some of the pictures are provocative. Some are a little odd. Some are a little abstract. It's definitely not all liturgical or church art. Definitely not. Um, and... There aren't a whole lot of faces in the, the content, the video thumbnails and uh, things like that, because we don't necessarily want there to be faces with there that someone will say, oh, I knew that person eight years ago. And so therefore our material is automatically dated. We want you to see its value for what it is. And those pictures might change. I don't know. I kind of like them. I, I had a lot of fun picking them out. And they do kind of communicate what is in the series that you're looking at, whether it is the creepy looking unicorn playing a piano in a Chinese subway uh, that we're debunking myths or the satellite of this just in getting the news reports and seeing what's happening next or, um, you know, whatever, whatever your favorite new favorite image is for our different uh, content offerings. They're really grabbing the attention and kind of showing you, what you're going to be experiencing in that and to draw you in. So you want more. And we really do. We have a ton of materials there. I have not finished uploading everything yet. There's more coming. Uh, but there is over 120 gigs of our materials there for you right now. All right. Stick around. I got to ask Patrick a question. Patrick. All right. Yes, sir. Tell me, a, tell me about the app. Tell me, tell me about the app and what's what's planned down the road. And I, I got to go back to Sandra a little bit later on that because so much of this is Sandra's area. But um, yes. tell me about the app, buddy. Any Anything that I say incorrect, she'll just fix in a few minutes. Uh, no, so the app, we're very excited about the app. We've had a lot of requests throughout the years for an application. Um, it's always been something uh, that we have wanted to do that we thought was unattainable. Um, and when we started the rebranding process last year, uh, it very quickly became something that was feasible. Um, and then it became real very, very quickly. Uh, the app is available on the Apple App Store. It's available on the Google Play Store. It's available on the Amazon Fire Store. If someone out there has an Amazon Fire phone, I'm not sure if anyone does. I've never seen one in person, so we'll see. 
Um, but it's available for everyone to be able to download um, right now. Uh, you might have to scroll down just a few uh, after you search for higher things. Um, but it's there, and soon enough we'll be at the very top of that search bar. With that app, you can access all of our content. You can get our articles, our videos. It is literally right there in the palm of your hand. It is fast. Um, you can download them. You can listen to them while you're going. Put it in your pocket, and it'll keep playing. There's no YouTube Red subscription required for that. Um, it works, and we're so excited about it. All right. Uh, um, I'm going to make Sandra. Welcome back, Sandra. You're on the screen again. Look at me. There you go. No warning. Hey, no warning. Hey, You're hey. just here. I, was, I want you to I tell me. Uh, the last to go. Uh, I, I, want, I want you to tell me, uh, first of all, nobody knows whether it's Sandra or Sandra. I, I, I still don't know. I think I, in a matter I, of I know. in a matter of two minutes, I, I, I call you both. I was going to ask Jean sometime. Hey, Mom, how do you, how do you, do you pronounce Sis's name? But um, uh, my HT, tell me about it. What's going? What? Oh, it's what coming. What is it? It's it so only took. Cool. It only took seventeen years, but it's coming. Right. Tell me about it. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. That's gonna be coming in August with the virtual conference. That is going to be. Um, it's gonna. I, it's it's gonna be like a higher things Lutheran social media experience. It's going to be so cool. Uh, that's where we're going to have profiles for everyone who registers uh, for the site. You're going to be able to have groups. You're going to be able to talk to each other. We're going to have the forums back. Um, people who have been around higher things for a long time remember the forums way back in the day, Mouth House and whatnot. There's going to be a new higher things use community online year round. We're very excited about that. And on my HD is also where you're going to be able to download and use multimedia lessons. We're going to multimedia eyes, our vacation Bible school curricula. Wait, 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 out. wait, will it be a stereophonic multimedia extravaganza also known as a bed sheet and a projector? Or is it going to be better than that? Dude, with this, we have a, we have an Apple TV app and a Roku app. We are way beyond the bed sheet and the projector. I don't, you didn't even know about that part, did you? No. <laughs> I just learned we have we have an Apple TV go. app. I just learned that. I got to read reports. Right. Oh, I got to read reports. All right, all right. Hold up one second. Um, okay. I want to I want to um, I want to talk to Erica uh, about supporting the organization. Tell me about how we can give through the app, how we can give on the website, how we can give in order to help this great organization. We're talking about an organization that lives from conferences. You're frozen. Oh no. Uh, there you are. An Am organization. Okay? Yeah, you're fine. I'm back? The, an organization I'm back? that. Okay. And now you're back from outer space. No, no singing. All right. There was, uh, there was to be no, there is no singing in the agenda for this evening for you. Just, I, I've got disco in the brain now. Um, so tell me about giving to higher things okay. and and Absolutely. supporting how higher things through the app and through uh, the website because it's gotten easier, hasn't it? It has. It's it's gotten much easier. Uh, so first of all, if you're a donor, thank you for your support. If you're not, you can you can start anytime. Uh, higher Things is a five hundred one c three nonprofit organization. So we are powered by donations, uh, by our donors, um, and uh, and our conferences. So the really cool thing about the website is we've got um, an easy give link. You can set up to be a monthly, uh, a weekly, a I don't know if we have any daily donors. Um, you can sign up to give annually. It's super duper easy. Um, and then also on our app, there's a little uh, button that says give easier and you put in your your information and off you go and you're helping us out and you're helping us bring uh great resources to youth and teach youth. all right i want to talk to you a little bit about the also, virtual i should mention uh, i should mention too um we also love our volunteers and that is another way to give to higher things and so um if you're ever interested in sharing your your skills with higher things 
Uh, all you got to do is on the bottom of the page, there's a contact little button and you fill it out and tell it and tell us you'd like to help us out and someone will get in touch with you. First of all, I want to thank Heather and Maggie for supporting my singing. You know, my iTunes list, it's broad. I bounce from all these different tunes. Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit about the staff. Okay. This wonderful staff. I want you to, I want you to, to tell me a little bit about your staff and a little bit about how proud you are about them doing the virtual conference. And then we'll ask Sandra to explain to us, is it, would it be you for the virtual conference or Sandra? Uh, I can, well, Kristen, Kristen's not here because she has, uh, well, that's you. right now. So, so I can, I can cover her. So tell me a little bit about your staff and about, um, higher things and about, uh, walk, walk us through what happened this year with the conferences. Sure. That's a lot of questions. Sure. So walk us through what happened with the conferences, how I'm you gonna, came up I'm with gonna, the virtual let conference. Let me explain. Let me explain. No, it's too much. Let me sum up. Um, so all the, the whole staff got a new boss this year, uh, end of summer, and that would be me. Um, and immediately we said, hey, guys, let's get together and let's rebrand. Let's let's do it. Let's see if we can get out a new website. Let's see if we can do a new logo, get a new look. It's going to be our anniversary. Uh, and so I really came on board and as the new boss um, made them work more than they normally have to uh, with all this rebranding stuff. And then uh, conference season was coming around just as we were getting ready to uh, sort of launch that website, doing all of our extra work, all our extra meetings to make that happen. And then COVID-19 hit um and we were we thought to ourselves well you know i we may, maybe we're gonna have a conference canceled but but we're gonna have on-site conferences it's been 20 years it's been almost 20 years of us putting on conferences we we've never missed a one yet in fact i think before i was around someone we, we had an issue where we had to pivot and do it you'd have to speak to that one but we had it we had someone we had a site not work out and we had to like pivot within three months and find a different spot and all that and we did it uh, but we still put on conferences. And so as we got closer and closer here in April, um, we got we got concerned. We had Tennessee cancel on us in April, our, our University of Tennessee can, cancel. Uh, and the staff and I kind of got a little worried. Um, and we got really worried because we started to think, what if more sites cancel? Um, we, have, we had over 2,500 kids registered at that point. Uh, and we were really, really worried that we weren't going to be able to have a conference for these kids. So we put our heads, my crack staff put their heads together and they cooked up, uh, taken watermarked online, uh, for a virtual conference. And so I not only asked them to rebrand and do all this other new website and new app, but then on top of it, I'm asking them to do something they've never done before in a quick turnaround. So, um, we're super excited about it because um, what ended up happening is that all of our uh, our on-site uh, universities canceled on us. Uh, so we were able to still, because it's such a priority for us, for those kids to get a, that HT teaching that, that you know and love, uh, we were able to still give them a conference. They're still getting t-shirts. They're still getting uh Three plenary sessions, they're getting, actually, they get to attend more breakaways than they normally would because they're going to have all of it on their online or on the app uh, with a six-month free membership. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. We're so pretty I, excited. So I want you to spill some some super secret information. Oh. Uh -oh. Give me some names of some of these guys that, that, that Higher Things has gotten. Can you do that? Because, I, I mean, I read that report. Can you do that? No, oh, you can do that. You can do that. Sandra's dying, but you I'm can afraid. do that. No, this is this is what I'm afraid of. I'll give you a few teasers, um, and I'm afraid I'm gonna. I, I don't. I'm not gonna give you the whole list because first of all, I'm afraid I'm gonna forget somebody on the list. Just um, just some names. But, some names. But we've got we've got. Well, first of all, we have all of the plenary speakers that were meant to speak at uh, at the on-site conferences. So we have you, of course, because we can't get the microphone away from you anyway. Uh, we have Goodman. We we have Pastor Goodman, we have <laughs> uh, we have uh, Pastor Pastor Brad Drew. Um, you're gonna have to help me because I did not have the list in front of me, and you like you flustered me now. Uh, who else do we have? Um, uh, Hall, um, Chris Hall, 
uh, Pastor Pastor Butu. Pastor Buto, Pastor Hull. I wouldn't uh, always mention hey. Buto in a positive light. Uh, uh, anyway. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Pastor Gavin Mai. Scott we Keith. Got Dr. Scott Keith. Uh, who else am I? Who else do we have here? We also I'm have. Thinking. We also have Jonathan Fisk. Don't we? Yep. Yep. We have. Yep. We, so we have. Uh, he wasn't a for sure yet, so that's Aaron, why we don't. Aaron really Finker. Like we got that Pastor, guy. Thank um, you. You got if that you guy. <laughs> well, I, I, it's in my brain. It's in my coconut. It's burned because I looked at the thing, and I was like, "Oh, Kristen yeah. Sanchez is here." I looked at the thing, and I was yeah. like, um, "You know, it, it blows my mind that um, they get all of the the plenary speakers, yeah. all of the good yeah. people, um, all, everybody. They get everybody. Uh, so, like, they get everybody. It goes and then some. So, yeah, yeah. And, and so, so and they're some, gonna get. I think it's over 16 different speakers. Um, now the sessions are a little bit shorter uh, because of the because of the the venue, uh, but they're going to be have access to those with their HT their my HT membership, which they get with the virtual conference, uh, and so they can go back and look at all of those. They can use them as Bible studies. They can go back and look up at them on their phone. They can listen to them. And normally at a, at a higher things conference, you have to pick the breakaway you want to go to, and you only get maybe five out of out of all of them if you're if you're lucky um but this time you get all of them all right hey i want to um i want i want to talk to uh let's see we're 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 grinding down here so we're going to do some q a so if you have a question go ahead and throw it in the channel and we'll answer it um i i see that we've i've handled everything that you've told me to handle have i missed anything erica is there anything that you want to ask one of your um, staff members um, wow, I put it on the spot here. Let's see. Um, that's it. There, there I am. I, think, I, I, think, I, 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 I can't think of anything. Let's see right, if the folks right. can think of any. All right, so we're going we're gonna to open it up for questions. You can ask anyone um, anything. I see um, Kristen has arrived and she's like shouting names of, of speakers. Um, so we'll wait for 30 seconds. Um, check out higherthings.org. Look at it today. Check out the app. I have no problem finding the app. All you do is do Higher Things Lutheran, and it's the first thing on the iTunes store. Um, it work, looks great on your phone or your iPad. What are the locations for next year? One of the most asked questions. The uh, conference exec <laughs> isn't here. She is kind of here, no. but what can we say I, and what can I, we not say? Here's what I can tell you. Um if, if the Lord doesn't come back, we are planning on-site conferences next year. Um, there may I will tease you with this only. There may be some redos of this year. There may or may not be some redos. You will find out during our virtual conference, just like you normally do if you come to an on-site conference, what our new what our what our locations are for the next year. So we will be announcing those for certain at the virtual conference. Um, Felicity has a question. Erica wants to know whether or not, um, I, you said you discussed my email with everyone. Did you come to play with the new stuff? What is she talking about? I, um, I got no clue there. So, um, Tetra, will they, what, what are Tetramorph contests and will there be Tetramorph contests at the virtual conference? There will. So, we are very aware that uh, some folks will be tuning in live with us to do the virtual conference, and some are going to take the content offline and sort of run it on their own, either in their own home or at a different time that's more convenient for youth groups and churches. Um, so what we plan to do is we will have all that lovely online content, the teachers, the breakaways. We will have six different worship services planned, but that's going to be uh, an offline where we provide uh, resources for you. Um, so whether you're a pastor uh, gonna, that, that's going to be doing the worship service with your kids, or if you're a mom or a dad just at home with, with, your, with your kids, you'll be able to do the worship services. Uh, we'll, give, we'll provide the prophets, pro, excuse me, proffers, not prophets, that would be something. We'll provide the, the proffers, uh, a hymn for you, and a recorded sermon. 
Uh, and then as far as the entertainment goes, we will have some, during the live conference on August 6th and 7th, we will have some entertainment suggestions for you to do offline. We will be dividing folks into tetramorphs. And what they can do is submit uh, the tetramorph challenges online on the on the interwebs on on our social media app, and uh, we'll be we'll be deciding who are winners and all that in our tetramorph contest. Um, did I get the question of what our tetramorph? Was that a question as well? Okay, you handled it. So, handled so, it perfectly. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well then, there you have it. Yes, we will have we will have entertainment suggestions and materials for you to do offline with your group all right uh any age 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 requirement on the uh if if i'm an adult can i um (laughs) if if i'm an adult can i register for the higher you're not if i were an adult right if i were i I do have some gray hair over here if i were an, an, an adult could i register for this conference could i just grab all that content and be resourced That's for my kids, my great. grandkids, and the like. Really, this is what's really, really cool. We have a, we've been around a while, and so we have folks who have grown up with HT, and they come to us and they say, "Could you please put on a, a, a you know, a, an alumni com, uh, conference? Could you put on an adult conference? Um, for the first time, really, you're going to be able to come back to a conference with us uh, if you've never experienced a higher things conference. The virtual conference is going to be great. You don't have to be around. Sorry to teenagers watching. A bunch of sweaty teenagers in the summer, right? You don't have to, like, be in a car with them. And, and I love them. I, I work with them. I mean, I, I have for years. I'm just saying. Some adults are afraid of teenagers. Um, so if you're an adult, you, this is super-duper easy. You can tune in, uh, find out what Higher Things is all about. And, um, yeah, it's open for anybody. All right. Questions are sort of winding down. Everybody's had a lot of fun. Yeah. I want to give each exec an opportunity to say something about what they. I'm out. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! We'll be back to you. No, end. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm just saying. I spoke more than I was supposed to because somebody wanna, didn't I'm know a, how to read the agenda. I, I don't. Uh, you have your agenda. I have mine. You know. Oh, right? We know. <laughs> Sandra. Oh, we know. One last bit about the content of the website. Stuff that you're excited about, and stuff that you're excited about going forward. Oh, go check it out. Go to the website. Go look under the content. Go look through the videos and the articles and the podcasts and all that kind of stuff. See what there is. Keep watching for it. Get it. Look at it on your app. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. We're going to just keep having more things for you. So start using it now and we'll have even more for you as time goes on. All right. Patrick. A last word. Uh, we are super excited about this. Um, I've been involved with Higher Things since I was 14 years old uh, back in 2004. I know that makes you feel super old, Pastor Borkhart. Um, but no, we're super excited about this, and it's wonderful to finally see it come to fruition. Um, the website itself is easy to use. Um, if anyone has used our old website, um, they know that it was a bit uh, muddled to get to things that they wanted to see, um, and that's no more. Um, it's easy to navigate. Um, the app is easy to navigate. We're putting the gospel um, in kids' ears, and we couldn't be happier to do it. Erica, one last thing about the website, about the app, and what's coming in the future. Um, I really feel like my team, my team has covered it all. So all right. I'm going to let, the, let that be the last word. Look at you. All right. Good, good. That's a good executive director. Hey, um, <laughs> go check out higherthings.org. Uh, and you know what you really want to do? You want to go to giving.higherthings.org and hit that button and give today. Um, is there a date for new me- merchandise? That's Patrick, correct? One last question. Yes. Um, hoping we're, I'm waiting on some samples. Uh, things are a little pushed back be- because of uh, COVID-19. Um, so I'm waiting for the samples to make sure um, our merchandise quality uh, is the best it can be. Uh, we are working on designs as we speak, though. 
Um, we have some pretty cool ideas in mind. Um, and the new logos are so versatile that they really lend themselves uh, to merchandise as well. So we're super excited about the merch as well. There's going to be plenty of swag uh, to wear. But timeline, Patrick, timeline. Uh, I would say in the next month and a half. Hopefully, as long as we get our samples in, things should be up on the store available to purchase in the next mer month and a half. So by the virtual conference? Yes, indeed. All right. <laughs> Good boy. Excellent. All right. Well, um, check it out. Higherthings.org. Um, I think we had enough fun that this will make, um, uh, this will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, I don't see Erica losing her cool on that. So it will happen. And uh, uh, just remember, dare to be Lutheran means dare to believe that salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone from scripture alone. And what Higher Things is all about is passing that daring to be Lutheran onto the next generation and asking them to run faster, farther, and better than we ran because we're all getting old. Um, well, at least they are, not me. I'm, I'm going to live forever. And so um, uh, dare to be Lutheran, higherthings.org. Check it out. Thanks for coming to our, um, to our, our, our little fun party. And uh, well, two o'clock tomorrow, we'll see you for Bible study. And this video will be up on YouTube uh, to allow everybody to enjoy the fun that we've had today. Peace be with you and have a blessed day. Thanks for coming.